Our story begins where we left off in part two. Deku's mother, Inku Midoriya, lock eyes with her shocked son as tears ran down her face. Dreadful, horrific, sickening. These were the words that described the actions of her son. Countless news reports of Deku and Shigaraki discussing crimes. The fiend killed heroes and civilians. He didn't even spare the children. Why? Said Inku to her son that was dumbfounded by her even being there. Mom, why? Screamed the heartbroken mother with pain and disappointment in her voice. Deku stopped draining the oxygen from Mario's lungs and smiled ever so slightly. You, mother, would never understand what life was quirkless, being treated like I didn't exist. And when I proved that I was smart enough to make up for my lack in power, they started to treat me like I shouldn't exist. Even the most ignorant, innocent child will grow up eventually as they learn what true pain is. It affects what they say, what they think, and they become real people. Deku's mother was speechless. He had changed completely from a shy, timid boy she had once knew him as. Trying to force the words out of her mouth, but nothing came. Hmm, <laughs> got nothing to say, huh? Don't worry, mother. I have an answer for everything. Telling his brother Shiggy to let's go, he respected his mother enough to not spill the blood of these heroes in front of her. Sparing the ashamed Mirio and one-armed Todoroki, Deku healed himself from the blow of one for all using a regeneration quirk, then teleported away with Shigaraki using warp. They were gone, leaving the defeated heroes and heartbroken mother in the wasted landscape. Over the next coming months, the green and white-haired demons would advance in their complete takeover of Japan first striking at the legislative, executive, and judiciary branches of government. After publicly executing the Prime Minister, the foolish remains of power in the country launched the entire nuclear arsenal they had at the brothers. They didn't even properly evacuate the citizens from that area, a necessary sacrifice to get rid of Japan's biggest threat. Deku yawned from such lack of a real challenge. The God of Wind extended his hands out, creating a strong vacuum of air holding the bombs in place. Shigaraki and Sink let out a powerful radio wave blast, destroying the bombs erupt in the skies in beautiful fireworks. It was that easy. Unstoppable was an understatement for the demon duo. With that display of power, the remains of the resistance hopes got utterly crushed, realizing it's best to stop now while they still have their lives. Being the new symbols of chaos, they got several wannabe villains reaching out to join their glorious movement, understanding that now they have an army. Deku wasted no time by loading the new underlings in several stolen battleships and fighter jets, preparing to attack the country of the United States. Everything was going as planned, a brilliant plan formed by a bond like no other. Walking in to hug his brother Shiggy right before their departure to complete destruction, they were both interrupted by Mideo, who permeated through the ground instantly between them, screaming power, launching a 100% Detroit smasher through the chest of Shigaraki. This impact literally obliterated the white-haired demon, blowing half of his body into chunks of flesh and ligaments on the pavement behind him, painting the surroundings in a blood-red mist. Deku was horrified, petrified and scared again for the first time before getting a quirk from all for one. This was his first and only real friend. His other half, his hero, blaming himself for his own negligence of leaving Mario alive. Immediately he got interrupted by Shigaraki mumbling, Take it all, brother. Understanding these words, Deku leapt out, placing his hand on Shigaraki's face, taking all his quirks. The white-haired demon smiled brightly before having Mirio take his hand out of his stomach. As a gentle wind knocked him over, hitting the ground, closing his eyes, proceeding to pass to the afterlife. Izuku's eyes glowed with unbounded rage. All his life, he had never experienced a feeling of loss. The only person that understood him in this accursed world, swearing in this moment to dedicate the rest of his life to his brother's passion, absolute destruction. Leaping quickly in the air, Deku let off a wall of flames towards Mario. These pillars of hellfire killed the surrounding soldiers of Izuku's army, burning them intensely. He didn't care. Anything to avenge his brother. The blonde hero permeated through the flames, screaming, now, 
having Shoto Todoroki let off an intense prominence burn in the villain's blind spot. Focusing all his unleashed anger, Deku turned around, clenching his fist, and flying straight through the concentrated heat beam like a monster, grabbing Todoroki's face, crushing his skull with enhanced strength, and began to use decay. Shoto crumbled to dust as Deku blew away the ashes with a gust of wind, eyes locked with the shocked Mirio. Healing himself from the scorched burns he had from such attack using regeneration, Deku's serious face turned to a wicked grin. Killing my brother like that wasn't so hero of you, wasn't it? We've both got blood on our hands. We're not the heroes who saved the world, we're the villains who survived it. I've made my peace with that. You should too. Because guilt is a weight. You'll never swim away from. Listen towards Mirio with undefined speed as a blur. They both began to swap attacks in a dance that would decide the fate of the hero society. It was marvelous. 100% of one for all versus all for one list of quirks. This glorious battle ravaged terrains, flattening mountains as Izuku went mad with power in every attempt to get rid of the blonde hero. Completely on a different league compared to any hero or villain before them. They both countered each other's attack masterfully, knowing one blow, one touch, would decide it all. For a moment, Mirio turned his head, as if something or someone caught his attention. Eyes focusing back on the battlefield, time slowed as he saw Deku with a demonic smirk about to touch the ground. No! Screamed Mirio, who noticed a civilian arriving to the battlefield in a car. The ground erupted in non-care and destruction of the gate that covered the entire battlefield in an instant. Such uncontainable power. Mirio managed to grab the bystander, but it was too late. His foot was touching the ground, therefore, decay began to consume him, crumbling the brave hero to dust. The decay also spread it to the civilian. Deku walked towards the crumbling ashes of Mirio, laughing like a madman before getting to a heart-shattering realization. The person that the blonde hero was trying to save was Inku Midoriya, Deku's mother, with a weak smile on her face and a single tear running down her cheek. She stared in her son's eyes, crumbling to pixie dust. Uh, mom? Mom!